Hallelujah. Let's go back to our study text in Judges chapter 6. We have been on this study because the Lord has kept us there. When we, when we are on a, on a passage like this, it's not because we cannot run through the Bible and start preaching everywhere, but because what God is saying in the now is here. It's prophetic. It's seasonal. So go back to that passage and let's read it again. Judges chapter 6 verse 25. And it came to pass the same night that the Lord said unto him, Take thy fa father's young bullock, even the second bullock of seven years old, and throw down the altar of Baal that thy father has, and cut down the grave, the grove that is by it, and build an altar unto the Lord your God upon the top of this rock. In the ordered place, and take the second bullock, And offer a burnt offering with the wood of the grove, which thou shalt cut down. Then Gideon took ten men of his servants, and did as the Lord has said unto him. May you do as the Lord has said unto you. Amen. And so it was, because he feared his father's household and the men of the city, that he could not do it by day, that he did it by night. May God give you the excellent wisdom to carry out his assignment, his instruction without causing confusion and noise in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 28. And when the men of the city arose early in the morning, behold, the altar of Baal was cast down, and the groove was cut down that was by it, and the second bullock was offered upon the altar that was built. And they said one to another, Who has done this thing? And when they have inquired and asked, they, they said, Gideon, the son of Joash, has done this thing. Then the men of the city said unto Joash, Bring out your son, that he may die, because he has cast down the altar of Baal. And because he has cut down the grove that was by it. What are the two reasons why Gideon must die? He cast down the altar of Baal. And he didn't just cast down the altar of Baal. What else did he do? So both the altar and the grove. That is something that they are doing. And the people know. There are times you may want to get some kind of response. You go to the grove. Why there are times you need to go to the altar. And there are times you need to combine the two. Verse 31. And Joash said unto all that stood against him, Will you plead for Baal? Will you save him? He that will plead for him, let him be put to death while it is yet morning. If he is a god... Let him plead for himself because somebody has cast down his altar. Therefore, on that day he called him Jerubal, saying, Let Baal plead against him because he has thrown down his altar. Then all the Midianites and the Amalekites and the children of the east were gathered together and went over and pitched in the valley of Jezreel. But the spirit of the Lord came upon Gideon, and he blew a trumpet, and Abiazar was gathered after him. Amen. Amen. I need to make this announcement before I move on. Please, um, tomorrow, we are not going to hold the online session of this, as we have done from Monday to today. 
because we are holding physical IMDC prayer rallies in various locations across the nation at the same time, 6 a.m. to 8 a.m. Please let every one of us take note of that. People that are in geographical location come together and pray and plan and you know, mobilize for IMDC. And we're going to do that for all the Saturdays that are remaining in 40 Days of Power. And again, Sunday is unique. Sunday is special. What is Sunday? Healing and revival experience. It's a special package inside 40 Days of Power. So please take note of that as we journey. I am just led by the Spirit to slot that announcement in at this point. Maybe for somebody. All right. Pay attention. I want you to notice something from that verse 25 where we started reading. The Lord said to Gideon that same night, take your father's bullock, not your bullock. Are you aware that Gideon has enough bullocks? Where did he get the kid that he used to entertain the angel? Did the Bible say he went to his father's uh, yeah, and got a kid? Are you getting what I'm saying? Gideon has his own bullock. But there are two special bullocks that his father has. I believe strongly that it is people that are coming to consult Baal that brought the bullocks. Because there is first bullock and there is second bullock. Are you aware that we read two, about two bullocks? Yes. These are bullocks that people, if you have been in the village or you have been a, a, around native doctors, you know that when people come to meet them, they, they will come with uh, cattle, come with bullocks and all of that. So these are people coming to worship Baal and presenting bullocks as a gift to Baal. And God said, take your father's bullock, go and get that bullock. And then, seven years old, second bullock, seven years old, and Throw down the altar of Baal. Throw it down. That your father has. Then cut down. Everything must go down. The altar must go down. The grove must go down. And then, can we read verse 26 together, everybody? Let's read together. One, two, go. And build an altar unto the Lord thy God upon the top of this rock in the ordered place. And take the second bullock and offer a burnt offering with the wood. Now, did you notice that it is in the same place where the altar of Baal was that God was demanding that Gideon will build an altar unto the Lord? Are, are, you, are you there? And it is the wood of the grove. A grove is a tree. The wood of the grove that he has cut down. I don't know how he's going to use, make it to burn because when a tree is cut down newly, it needs to dry before it can start burning. But I don't know, maybe Gideon must have get uh, maybe diesel or fuel or whatever that can make the, the grove burn. But God was demanding that that grove must burn. Eh? The altar of God will be built on the same spot the altar of Baal was established. Do you know that it is possible that God would have told Gideon, go and destroy the altar of Baal, burn it, cut down the grove, and then go to a new site eh, and build an altar for me. Could that be possible? Yes. But you know why? The reason why God demanded that his own altar must be on that spot was this. Listen. Number one. There is a possibility that that spot was where the altar of God has been before now. Before the backsliding of Abiezer. The altar of God has been on that spot. And at the point of their backsliding, they abandoned and thrown down the altar of the Lord. 
and establish an altar of what? Baal. And God is demanding that this is my place. Are you there? This is the place of my worship. I chose this place. And this place has been the spot where people are worshipping me in Abiezza. Now, that Baal came and took over because of men, you know, backsliding from God, should not make me to lose my place. May God recover his place in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. The fight is that the place where the altar of God used to be, the altar of Baal is now occupying that same space. The idol that just came in has taken the place where the God of heaven is being worshipped in somebody's life. And God is saying, you see, the time you are giving to this idol, the worship, the devotion, the confidence you are giving to this idol called Baal, it is me that is supposed to have it. So you have to throw down the altar of Baal. Cast down. Cut down the groove that was by it. So that I can have back my place in your life. Are, are you getting it now? Yes. God is looking for the recovery of that which has been his. I don't know whether you are following me. You see, when God was showing me this, I was, I was scared. I was scared that God is saying, you have erected an altar for Baal in your life. And the same time that you are supposed to give to God, the same time, in the same place, eh? the same time is what you are using to press phone. The same time. is dangerous. The same time that God is supposed to have, the same devotion, the same confidence is what you are now giving to another God that has taken the place of God in your life. Baal has taken the place of God in Abiezer. And the altar of God, where God is being worshipped, the time God is being given, the devotion God is being given, the attention God is being given, is now given to what? To watching of movies. Given to what? Eh? Mention them. If you know your own idol, you mention. Shouting. Some people will shout for hours. Video chat. Eh? Relationship. You know, there is something you call relationship, but relationship means relating with people. But when believers want to do evil, instead of them to call it boyfriend or girlfriend like unbelievers, they say is what? Relationship. What is relationship? Relating with people. If you are in courtship, it's a different thing. You know that you are spending your time preparing for your what? For your marriage. But you just want to satisfy something in you. And you are spending time. The time that should be given to God. Something has taken the place of God and now is collecting his time in your life. If you are going to be one of the kingdom warriors that God will use to fight kingdom battles and deliver his church, recover his church from the, I mean, the battle of the Midianites, the Amalekites, the children of the East, you must recover the place of God back in your life. Listen, what will confuse some of us is to say, well, I don't just give Baal a great amount of time. It's just a few minutes. I just, you know. But let me tell you, you know what God is looking for? God is looking for total devotion. What made me afraid is that you don't give to Baal one minute you should give to God. One. You may say this person is spending five hours, but you are spending one minute. That one minute that you are using to worship Baal, give to that which should not have that one minute in your life, is a problem for God using you 
for what he wants to do. God is demanding the recovery of his what? Of his place in your life. The place where God is being worshipped has been converted to a place where fashion in a lady's life is being worshipped. Eh? Where money in people's life are currently being worshipped. Money. You know, money is a strong God. Yes. Yes. You see people giving attention and time and devotion, submission, commitment that to money that they will never give to God. And it's easier to preach than to do. It's easier to talk about it than to truly practice the true worship of God. And I pray for somebody that every place of God in your life that has been taken by any kind of strange God, this morning must be recovered back in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. All the idols in form of growth, altar, that are now receiving attention, receiving time, especially time, especially time. That's a serious battle for time. Just imagine people coming to the altar of Baal. And when they come to the altar of Baal, Gideon's father is the chief priest of the altar of Baal. Now, do you notice that even the way Gideon's father uh, responded, is like he has discovered that there's no power in this Baal. You're not getting me. Sometimes, servants of Satan, they know that there is a greater power with servants of God. They know very well. They know. But when they meet people that doesn't have God, the true God, they will take advantage of them. Look at the way the man responded. He said, if Baal is powerful, <laughs> somebody has thrown down his altar, let him fight the person and kill the person. Eh? And even name his son, just to make them satisfied. He said, Jeruba, Baal pursue you, fight you, and kill you. The man was waxing stronger. <laughs> Gideon's father was aware. I believe that the man was a priest of God before. Are you getting what I'm saying? That is the truth. Some of us, you have been worshipping God before until, you know, some time ago when you are on campus, when you are among the youth, coppers, NCCF, and some other period, you have been doing well, worshipping God. You are the chief priest of that altar. But now, you know that something else is being worshipped in that same place. Eh? There are some of us, at this stage of your life, God is no longer being honored in your life. It is how to make it. How to marry. Who will marry me? That's all you are thinking and worried about. The attention, the time, the space that should be given to God has been turned and you are now giving it to Baal. And this Baal can represent anything. Let me tell you what the Bible said in 1 Peter chapter 5 verse 7. He said, cast all your cares on him. For he what? He careth for you. Don't allow any of your, you know, your heart to begin to worry and begin to be distracted by the cares of this life. Can we read that together? One, two, go. Casting the whole of your care. Wait. Did you see the word casting? What's the difference between casting and cast? Eh? This casting here was not placed there as a mistake. The author being inspired by the Holy Ghost knew that he should not just write cast. You know cast can, can fit in here very well. Can we use cast? Let's read, read with cast. Cast the whole of your care. Is it not a correct English? But do you know why he's, he used casting? Casting is used there because when you cast the care that came to you today on the Lord, tomorrow, another one will what? Will come. So you have to be 
in a position of what? Casting. Somebody say casting. As the Kia is coming. Have you seen these people that are offloading carton of um, Indomie from a trailer? You have done that before. You are looking like someone who have done that kind of thing. Uh, the person that is down and the person that is up, he will just throw, you will cast. You will throw, you will cast. That's, that's the technology here. Because as long as you are in this world, as a single sister, the Kia, the idol that the devil is presenting, say, Mar, who will marry me? Who will marry me? The moment a brother say, I will marry you, and you pray it is the will of God, what happens to that Kia? It has gone. And then you get married. You are rejoicing, dancing on your wedding day. As soon as you finish wedding, one month, two months, three months, four months, you didn't take in. What happened now? Another care can come around. <laughs> you begin to worry about that one. And you say, oh God, instead of you to be praying for revival, that the Amalekites must die, eh? that the Midianites must be finished, you are no longer concerned about the Amalekites and the Midianites and the children of the East. You are saying, whatever they are doing in the land, that one concerns them. Please, I have a care here. God of heaven, where are you? Give me my own child. And then, as you, he will give you. When that one is, is done, what happens? Money for Antinata. Because you have to go for Antinata. And all kinds. So, casting is that the thing will keep coming. Problems will keep coming. But you have to learn the technology of what? Casting the whole of your care. I love this. Um, I think this is amplified. He said, all your what? Anxieties. All your what? worries all your what concerns once and what for all on him for he cares for you affectionately and cares about you watchfully if there is time we would have clapped for this uh, amplified version amen you know why we are talking about cares cares is a form of idol worship because once they come upon you, they begin to take the time and attention that you should have been given to God, given to soul winning. That's why so many believers, they don't remember going for evangelism. They don't remember following anybody up. They don't remember because they are facing with a lot of cares. Those things are taking the place of God, the place of God's work, the place of God advancing his kingdom through you. In the life of the person because the cares are there and the person is always thinking about them some people have carried the care of their family you know i was talking to a sister recently i said sister this family problem that you are worried and you are carrying carrying about is even trying to make her mad i said before you were born family problem has been there and it's not only in your family that there is problem I told him that my own family has problem too. But I have not died <laughs> because there is family problem in my father's house. Are you getting it? I say, what I do is to carry the care and the problem and do what? And cast it on the Lord and say, Lord, this is your problem. The, this family problem is what? Is your problem. Because I need your space in my heart for fighting the Midianites, fighting the Amalekites. And the children of the East. These children of the East, we need to find out who they are. Because the Bible was consistent. Are, are you noticing that? Talking about the children of the East. Amen. So, whatever it is that we have loved, one thing about idol is that you will see that your heart has loved it. That's why Jesus said, no man born of a woman can serve two masters. Why? For he will love one and hate the other. Love. And then he will despise one and be devoted to the other. I am so much scared by that second side. The one that said despise and be devoted. Despise. You know why? If you check our devotion towards what will give us money, I was talking with the person that was organizing the chairman of Bible reading uh, uh, organizer, our, our committee, 
prophesy about it when we were about to start. And he says, sir, that some of the people that led different Bible um, reading groups before, that they are declining that they will not lead this time around. I say, why? He said, you don't know. Maybe because it's demanding or that kind of thing. I said, the reason why they are declining is because we didn't behave like INEC towards their ad hoc staff. You know INEC, when INEC is trying to conduct election, they normally ask people to come and walk. Am I correct? Talk now. Some of you have eaten their money. I can see it. And they will be telling you that talks are coming you know, with gone and all of that. Do that stop people from going there? Believers, you see them, they will be proudly go there. They know that talks are coming and they are, they are coming with gone. <laughs> but despite the threat, what will I neck give you? Sometimes 20,000, 25,000. But that is what will keep you working. You will go for training. You will go for 10,000. Eh? 10. There were a time it was 10,000. Now, I say the reason why they are declining is because this one, they are not aware of how much we are going to pay the people that are going to work this time around. If only they are aware of how much that the people that will work this time will be collecting at the end of the work, will they decline? They are not aware. And nobody should come to me for any payment too. <laughs> You will be paid by what? The bank of heaven. People, they are so devoted to what we give them money than what we give them God. Their job should not be touched. Eh? Their business should not be touched. Their academics should not be touched. Look at their attitude. Compared to their attitude to God and to the things of God. These are things that have taken the place of God. These are Baal that has been, you know, worshipped in the same place where God should be worshipped in Abiezer. The same chief priest, Gideon's father, that's why God is saying, take his um, what do you call it? Bullock. Take your father's bullock because your father knew that I called him. And he served me for some years before he was converted to priest of Baal. So go and collect his bullock. And then destroy his altar of Baal. Do it. He knows. When you wake up and sees what you have done, he will realize his backsliding. You know, there are things that young people, young ministers will be doing. It will remind the old ministers of their backsliding. You are not getting what I'm saying. One of them, the old prophet, saw how the Lord sent a younger prophet from another country to the place where he was to do, and it was excellent. And he said, how can the Lord leave me to... And he began to tell lies, tell lies, to deceive the younger prophet. Every one of us who have backslidden, every one of us who have forsaken the altar of God, a place of worship, the time and attention you are to be given to your quiet time with God in the morning. Your prayer life, your evangelizing life, your disciple making life that have now been exchanged. You know, sometimes people say, I don't know how to co come back. I don't know how to recover back. Very simple. If you, if you want to come back, take fasting and prayer. Why you have not come back is that you have been eating. Anytime you are looking for recovery, Eh? You know what to do. Stop eating. Fast for three days. And then take your quiet time note, the one you wrote before, and read it within that three days. You are trying to recover back. Don't write new one. Just go and read the one you wrote when you are still standing. Read it for the three days. And pray. Read Bible. Your fire will come back. The place of God will come back after that exercise. 
And once again, I pray, somebody's altar of God that has been taken over by idol, things that are now competing with God, with God's place in your life, they must be cast down this morning. The grove by the altar must be cut down this morning. In the name of Jesus Christ. For those that will be used, we are not yet talking about saving the media night too, because that's where we are going. What God called Gideon to do is to what? Save the media night. But before that will happen, the place of God in the life and in the community that will be vessels need to be recovered. The worship of God need to be recovered. When the people woke up in the morning and saw that Gideon has done as the Lord has said. Okay, before we get to that level. Um, you know that the Lord said to Gideon, look at it in verse 19. I wanted to pick it. So Gideon and the hunt no verse 26 yes Gideon 6 26 and build an, alt an altar unto the Lord your what did you notice something there build an altar unto the Lord your what your God are you aware that whereas almost everybody in the land of Abiezer were worshipping Baal, Gideon was not worshipping Baal. You see God saying, the Lord is with you. Go in this your might. Build an altar unto the Lord, your God. Your God. Destroy the altar of Baal that your people are worshipping. Now build an altar unto the Lord, your God. Your God. And that is very important to us. It is good for us to say, the Lord of heaven is our God. But you know what the Bible says? It says those who know their, their God. The Lord, your God. Gideon has a personal relationship with what? With God. God has a place in his life. Now, but what I wanted to see was that he has observed his father worship Baal, kill Bullock, and inquire for people on behalf of Baal. And let me say this Gideon, being the kind of person he is, must have interacted with his father severally and said, Daddy, this God that you are consulting people for, is he the God that they told us about? That delivered the children of Israel from um, Egypt. You know, when the angel said, The Lord is with you, what did he say? If the Lord is with us, where are the miracles? We are told that he delivered. So Gideon must have engaged his father severally and said, Daddy, this thing that you are doing is not is contrary to what we are told. Though. This is not a God. And the man will say, What can I do? We didn't see the God again. It's the one we saw now that we are worshipping. But, you see, I wanted to note that Gideon was acting based on divine instruction. Are you there? God instructed him to cut down. And that was why when he did it, see, I cannot overemphasize that the way we are going to succeed in this life, in this kingdom, is by following God's instructions. Because I have heard the story of believers that repented, and the next thing they did is to go to their father's idol and set it on fire. And after burning it, they become mad. You are not following me. They acted out of presumption instead of out of instruction. Did you hear what I said now? Yes. There are things that 
if you are to do it, some things should have happened. Before God asked Gideon to destroy this idol, the community idol, he had given Gideon a personal encounter, revealed himself to him, and he has also built a personal altar. Are you getting that? Yes. There are some kind of ministry that if you out of zeal, double into when you have not been prepared and then you will meet principalities and powers at that spiritual level. I, I don't have time for this, but what I want us to say is, to, to see is that we must follow what? Divine instructions. In everything, as we trust God to qualify us as kingdom warriors. Now, did you also notice before we close that when the people woke up in the morning and saw that the altar of Baal has been thrown down and there is a new altar there, the grove has been cut down and the wood was used to sacrifice the bullock. What was their reaction? Eh? They said to one another, verse 29, they say to one another, who has done this thing? <laughs> who is the person that has what? Has done this thing. And the Bible said they made the inquiry. Eh? When they inquired and asked, they said, Gideon, the son of Joash, has done this thing. You may not understand that verse because it is not the people that worked with Gideon that told them. But they were like, in the whole of Abiezer, who is likely? <laughs> eh? Who is likely to be the person that will do this kind of thing? They say, is he the son of, uh, okay, okay, no, 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 that one is a drunkard. Eh? Is he the son of a calf? Ah, that one is a, a smoker. He can, he, he, they start shaking all the youths in Abiezer, their history. And they know that this Gideon has been talking about God, God of heaven. He must be the one. Look at it. When they had inquired and asked, they said, it's not as if they were told. They said, they concluded that of everybody in Abiezer, it must be Gideon. May people know you with God that anytime they see exploit for God and they begin to suspect, it will end up being you doing it for God. Amen. Yes. May people in your class, in your school, when they were like, who is this person that is doing this preaching this morning? They say, it must be Michael. Is one. Is one. May you do such a shocking thing. You know, it's a shock. Surprising. There is element of fearlessness here. Eh? Without consulting anybody. Because that's our problem. God will ask you to do something. You will go to your father and say, Daddy, um, there is something that lo the Lord just led me to do. He encountered me powerfully. I saw an angel. Hey, it was mighty encounter. And after the whole thing, he said, I should cut down your idol. Your father will say, what did you just say now? From the chief priest I was to Baal, I paid all your school fees. I trained you in Futo as a mechanical engineer. Eh? And you say that the Lord said you should cut down my... The man will place you on watch list. You know what they call watch list? <laughs> he will now... You don't need to expose some certain things to some certain people. When God gives you an instruction, you do what? You go ahead. You don't need... Paul said, I confirm not with flesh and uh, blood. Because they will never believe you. They will start suspecting you. The moment Gideon discusses it with some people, they say, no, 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 no. no. We must make sure that he doesn't do this. And that's how several people, what God has asked them to do has been stopped because they discussed it. The strategy that God asked them to use to do the thing eh, has been copied and bastardized because 
they discussed it, they exposed it. And God is saying, I'm not giving you this strategy for public consumption. It is for you to use it to shock the devil and his agents in your generation. So we must learn to preserve God's instruction and with all boldness carry it out. Are you learning? Yes. And I want to declare again over your life that the next thing you are going to do for the kingdom, people will wake up and see and their question is, who has done this? This is very, very shocking. Who entered this village, this city, and in the next three months, 100 disciples has been made for, for Christ? Who is the person? And they say, it is Kinsley. Egon. They say, they, they, when they had inquired, they said, <laughs> Hallelujah. Now, the question is, when Gideon's father said, let Baal fight for himself. If Baal is a god, let him kill. Please listen. Even Baal knew. Eh? You know Baal is powerful. I hope you know Baal is powerful. Please listen to me. Human beings are not foolish people. They are not stupid. This bad they are talking about is a powerful God. That's why they are worshipping bad. You think people are foolish. When you see people, do you know that most native doctors, they don't have signboard? Eh? They don't have B-board. They will just be in one, one village. And you see people looking for them, coming to that place. Bars are powerful. They can do something. But you need to know that the power of God of heaven is above whatever bad can do. Are you getting that? That was why when Gideon finished doing that, eh, he became more powerful. It's not as if Baal is not powerful. He's, he's powerful. So, don't open your mouth and say, Baal is not powerful. You'll be making a mistake. Baal is powerful. But we have subscribed to higher power. And that is why we are winning and ruling. Occultic people are powerful. Witchcraft, witchcraft people are powerful. That's what, you see, believers, be careful how you talk about the devil and his powers. Because you, you can see somebody saying, uh, it's like uh, witches and wizards are manipulating people in this compound. If witches and wizards are manipulating people in this compound, how does that concern you? Can they also manipulate you? Are you getting what I'm saying? No! We have a higher power that witches and wizards cannot touch. Occultic power does not reach there. Are you getting it? The Bible says that Jesus has what? Disarmed principalities and power. The joy we have, the confidence we have, our hope is that we have subscribed to higher power. If they give you 4G network and 2G network, you know, both of them are network. Which one are you going to choose? Why? Why will you choose 4G? Are you getting this now? 2G is a network. Even 1G is a network. But 4G is what? More powerful. More efficient. More, please, my brothers and sisters, let's embrace this great opportunity we have with a higher power. There is no other power that can ever, that's why we need to exploit it. Are you getting what I'm saying? That's why we need to what? Explore it. We need to explore God. We need to ensure that we are carrying the power in reality. Doing miracles by the power of God. 
We have to get to the extreme of this power. Whatever be the price, let's follow God. Let's diligently walk with him and get there. Are you getting what I'm talking about? So, we are going to pray now. I want our prayer to be progressive. From throwing down every altar of what? Baal. Wherever God has been before, which we have allowed Baal to come and occupy, it is time to what? Throw it down. Cast it down. Cut it down. And establish God as the God of your life. Rise on your feet and pray. From there, we can now take other progressive prayers.